and basically get to live in your best possible life. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, doing me. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, doing me. Hello, darlings, and welcome to my YouTube channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Sadiqa, and for those of you who already subscribed, already know what it is. Thank you for clicking on another one. So darlings, for today's video, it's actually going to be a part of my spirituality series and I'm going to be sharing my candle manifestation method with you guys, which I like to call candle scripting. I have been using this method for about a year now and as you can see right here in this clip, I have kept all of my old candles that I used to do the scripting on, not only for me to look back on, but also for me to show you guys as proof that it works and I've been using it. And also just because I don't want to let go of them just yet. So before we get into the video, of course, you know, I got to remind y'all to make sure that you are subscribed and you have hit that bell so you get notified whenever I upload. And also be sure to follow me on all of my socials because I do post on there more outside of YouTube. Candles are perfect for intention setting because they actually represent the four elements of life. Number one being earth, which is the wax and also the wick that stays grounded within the wax. Then number two being fire, which is obviously the flame. Number three being air, which is what actually keeps the flame going, which is oxygen. And the fourth and final element being water, which you do see once the candle starts to burn, the wax turns from solid to liquid, which represents water. So the first step is obviously grabbing yourself a candle I personally like to use these types of candles that have the glass casing on the outside because then I'm able to use my permanent marker to script directly onto the candle and then have it burning without anything interfering or anything smudging or you know causing any fires or hazardous problems if you have like a single candle like this you are able to do this method by just writing on a piece of paper and having the paper underneath the candle i personally would have the candle in a candle holder i'll show you mine it's like this right here so you can put your candle in just to ensure that you don't end up burning the paper underneath and causing a fire so once you've picked out your candle you are ready to go the first step is making sure that your candle is completely clean and as you can see here in this clip i made sure that i took off the front as well as the bottom to make sure that there was nothing on the candle whatsoever and then i also used a microfiber cloth and some some special spray to clean the whole outside of the candle as you guys can see here I'm using the Palo Santo to cleanse my candle and I am saying to myself and out loud I cleanse all incorrect energy I cleanse all limiting beliefs and I'm cleansing all stagnant energy this helps to remove any type of energy that could be around this candle as this candle is probably made in a factory and then it was delivered somewhere and then has now been in the store where it has possibly been touched by so many different people so you just want to make sure that you are cleansing your candle and starting off blank and fresh and it is yours with only your energy and intentions on the candle and then I go ahead and also pray on my candle and set whatever intentions it is that I want for that candle. I ask the Lord to bless my candle and to hear my prayers and intentions through this candle. So I go ahead and grab myself a permanent marker and I start to script on the candle whatever it is that I want to manifest. With this specific candle, it was actually orange. So I actually went ahead and looked up what the meaning of orange candles are. And online it says that orange candles represent stamina, success, prosperity, youth, independence, southern changes, creativity, joy, energy, and strength. So because of that, I decided that those were the types of intentions that I wanted to focus on with this candle and I went ahead and started writing about those things whilst thinking about them and praying about them and just feeling good about all of this. 
I'm not going to show you exactly what I was writing because that is just personal to me. So you can go ahead and write whatever it is that you want on your candle, whether it be your direct prayer or affirmations or what it is you're asking from the Lord. Or if you have questions, you're looking for signs, whatever it is that you would like to put intentions into the universe or into the world, you can go ahead and put that on the candle. Once you're done, all you gotta do is then light your candle, meditate, get into the zone, get into this attitude of gratitude, get into a space of believing that everything you already want is happening and it's on its way to you. So darlings, we've actually reached the end of this video. It is as simple as that. Candle scripting, candle manifestations, whatever you wanna call it, it's basically you taking some time out to use one technique to manifest and basically get to live in your best possible life. There are so many other techniques to manifestation that I will be sharing with you guys. And comment down below if there's any specific manifestation technique that you like and share some of your success stories down below also. So let's raise our vibration and energy as a collective, get that good feeling and also encourage other people to know that it does work. It's real, it's true, God is out there and he will make all of your dreams, prayers and wishes come true. Share this video with your friends and fam. Stay positive, stay productive, stay blessed. And I'll see you darlings in my next one. Bye.